Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be continuing our Majora's Mask 100% run through. <laughs> Welcome in, Koneko. Koneko with the first. Heck yeah. Also, I also forgot daylight savings time was a thing this morning. <laughs> I woke up. It was dark outside. I looked at my phone. My phone says it's almost 7 a.m., I was very confused, very confused, but I got up anyway. <laughs> and then I went into the kitchen and the clock on both the uh, microwave and the oven was different than my phone. And I said, oh, we sprung forward. I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, I was a little bit of a mess this morning with the times. I hate daylight savings time, by the way. I now... I don't prefer one or the other, daylight savings time versus not. I just think we should pick. I just think we should pick. <laughs> hey, Lunar, how's it going? Are you having a good Sunday, friend? Let's scoot this. I feel like the microphone's a little bit close to me. There we go. That feels that feels a little better. That feels a little better. How are you guys doing? Are y'all having a, a beautiful, lovely Sunday? <clears throat> I'm having a beautiful, lovely Sunday. My schedule's fucked on wintertime already. On DST, it's even worse, right? Exactly, Koneko. When do you guys um, switch over? You switch over a little bit after us, right? Like you're, you switch over in a couple weeks, right? Over there. Like you don't switch over with the US. I feel like the US switches over first and then like the various European ones kind of all, you know, follow after that. Three kids here, one named Aspen. <gasps> You've got an Aspen. Oh my gosh. I think in two weeks, something like that. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Because I feel like you guys you guys do the switch over like a little bit after us. Like it's kind of like we're America's like the first domino and then all the European countries like boop, 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 like right after for the next like three or four weeks or something like that. <clears throat> yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to start this episode of Artistic License. Like we like to start all of our episodes of Artistic Lightness License with... A personality quiz. Okay. This is one that you guys did in the Discord. Um, I'm so excited to do it. We're going to find out what kind of king's advisor would you be? And it says content warning for weirdly intense homoerotic dynamic with the king. So that's what we're excited about. So what schemes are you running? What are you whispering in the king's ear? Platonic. Uh, just as a loyal subject. Unless. <laughs> so let's see. Let's find out. Okay. First question. Hey, little Regency gremlin, why don't you start by choosing an item? Okay, puzzle teapot with hidden channels inside so you can poison some people, but pour safely for others. Ooh, that would be useful. Ribbon stick with bells on it so that you can annoy so many people with. This answer is after my heart. The only answer that this could ever be, <laughs> only could ever be a sword, okay? Monster energy drink in my specific flavor. Do not care about the royalty aesthetic. This is my answer. Oh, God. I do have a LaCroix like right here, Limoncello LaCroix. I love the Limoncello LaCroix. They're delicious. Um, a simple black ledger that you are certain has the information to topple kingdoms or a fine silk dress with embroidered gems. We're going to annoy so many people, you guys. We're going to annoy so many people. My parents are away today, so I slept in until 1 p.m. Nice. And then played Switch games for like an hour. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That sounds like an amazing Sunday, Kunoko. That's exactly what every Sunday should be like. A rival member of the council just tried to up to one up you in court. What are you doing when you get back to the room? Screaming, I hate them. You need to kiss them so bad right now. Uh, releasing information that they used to be a filthy commoner. Yes, you used to be a commoner too, but what of it? You are going to calmly and rationally forget the incident after a light and casual poisoning. Just just a just a little just a little poisoning, just a chill little poisoning, you know. They are so deeply unimportant to me that I've genuinely already forgotten the event. <laughs> Look, they have something in the world that they love, and I am going to take it. <laughs> he he, oh ho. <laughs> they thought they were upping me, but in three to four weeks, it will severely backfire on them. They've stepped right into my scheme. Okay. It all depends on the offense, you guys. It all depends on the offense. And um, it's either this one... <laughs> It's either this one um, or 
uh, this one where I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot it even happened. I don't know. Were they just annoying or were they outright, were they doing something that could outright harm me? If like it's outright, something they said was outright potentially harmful for me or my friends, it's this one. If like they're just annoying, actually, uh, I, I forgot. They're not that important. Um, but, you know, we're playing Royal Advisor, so we're going to be dramatic. We're going to assume that what the one upmanship that they did was like actually terrible. So, yeah. Um, you intercepted a letter from a rat spying on your kingdom for a rival nation. You decide to let the raven reach its sender. What do you replace the letter with? <laughs> um, let's see. A forged letter with the exact opposite information. God, they're going to look like fools. A straight up scorpion. You don't always have to be subtle. <laughs> Wait, do you think it's going to survive? Oh, the bird's flying off. Oh, well. A map leading them towards a treasure. It's either going to be a spike pit or wolves. You haven't decided. A magical substance that will kill or blind them the moment it's open. It's definitely not anthrax. It's a fantastical magical powder. Listen. <laughs> what castle anthrax? What an unfortunate name. Just a note that says, got you to freak them out. A forged letter saying the rat is defecting and insulting the rival nation so that they assassinate him themselves heart um yeah i i really like that answer <laughs> i think we're sending got you got you <laughs> um the king's cup is poisoned and you know it is poisoned and he is about to drink from it what do you do grab it and drink it myself in a platonic way and then he he can nurse me back to health in his bed and check my fever by pressing his lips against my head. But just like as homies, <laughs> fine too, I suspect, did it and stealthily switch their cups. Darling, I did it. Let him drink and then make a big show of screaming and wailing over his body before pulling out the antidote I already had and bravely saving him. Oh, I like that answer. Whisper to him that it's poisoned and try not to be attracted to him when he winks and drinks it anyway. What? I was vibing with this until the drinks it anyway, and now I'm deeply confused. Nod to the devilish little prince from across the room that our plan is going off without a hitch. I'm already working to double, triple, betray him too. <laughs> uh, okay, we are we are stealthily switching the cups, I think. Yeah. Um, what are you wearing to prowl around the hallway searching for secrets? Or when you're lost, it's a big castle. Swishy swish robe with a pattern that only catches in the light. <laughs> My frilliest, silliest outfit. <laughs> you didn't squeeze into a whalebone corset to not be seen today. I do like that answer. Hood up, boots on, grappling hook strapped. No one will catch you in your business. Head to toe, intricate metal plated Kingsguard armor. They can hear you clanking from miles away. My riding gear with the white shirt open just so and playful amount of dirt artfully smeared. Casual and tussled. You definitely came from the stables and aren't just walking around like this because you know it's a look. Of course not. The clothes you slept in, but it's fine. They're actually clothes, not PJs, because it's what you were wearing yesterday. <laughs> oh, that answer's a mess. Um, but we're choosing this one, okay? We're choosing this one. Um, at the end of the day, what are we if not peacocks, right? Okay. Next. Hello, Ninja. How's it going today? I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. What fun. It's time to dance at the ball. What moves are you busting out? Just a merry little jig. There's a lot of knee and hand clapping action. I'm picking the most influential person here and we're waltzing. And by God, it will be romantic. If you wanted me to dance, you should have spoken up at least eight goblets ago. I need to go live face down in the Royal Gardens. Goodbye. <laughs> we got too drunk. <laughs> Coordinated ballroom dancing with the entire court. Lots of intense eye contact from afar, but no touching. Slut drop. Just invented it. On site, two people will die instantly. <laughs> Please, God, please, everyone stop talking. You memorize the steps and need to concentrate. The old timey dances are harder than they look. Stop talking to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I can, I guess I have some rhythm, but not like a lot. You know what I mean? So I think we're concentrating really hard because those dances do look difficult in my opinion. Okay. We got two more questions, two more questions to go. The king's heir is growing much too bold, has brought up the order of succession one too many times. How do you take care of them? What, what, like babysit them? Wait, do you mean, uh, oh, <laughs> the kid likes long walks and there's some high, high towers with some short paths. So maybe just give a little nudge, just shine those floors nice and slippery. 
I've had too many poisons prepared waiting for this day. You're unable to pick and pour them. Um, pour them all in a chemical reaction somehow makes an antidote. Oops. <laughs> bite, bite and kill and get them. This isn't my expertise, but my plan ends up extremely effective. Kill him in a tragic and bloody incident, but secretly store him away in a chamber in the house. Never hurts to have backups. I like that answer. Marry them off and frame the spouse and also frame the cook who was rude to you and maybe frame the king himself. Why not? I don't think marrying him off is a good long term plan, though. Like he's still he can still easily come back. I think this is the better long term plan. Kill him. Last question. What token does the king give you to show you're his most trusted advisor? A brooch and he pins it on me himself and pushes his hand against my chest and I think about it for the rest of my life. We should have backups for sure. Absolutely, Koneko. Duh, of course. A dagger and I give him a matching one. If we ever betray the other, we can stick it into them. Wait, the wording on that sounds wait. <laughs> a ring with his emblem to wear on my pinky and one by one, as the other advisors fall, you take their rings too. Oh, I like that. A secret tattoo branding me to him for life in a platonic, normal, chill um, way. Definitely. The first coin branded with his vis visage. You use it to decide the fate of many, many enemies after this day. Just a straight up kiss to the mouth. <laughs> Just <mwah. laughs> Um, I like the ring. It's kind of like sneaky and cute. I like that. Okay, what we get, what we get. The jester, I knew it. I'm a fucking clown. Ha ha, you're just a silly clown. Ha ha, you're kicking your legs and swinging your feet like a harmless little buffoon. Ha ha, what if you told the king to execute the cupbearer for looking at you the wrong way? He was totally right. Oh my God, so embarrassing. What if you blackmailed the treasurer and took over his job and brought yourself so many shiny bells and jingle jangle knickknacks? That would be so funny. You're sitting on the king's lap. You're giggling in his ear. Pretty sure he's got a, got a, uh, got a like a mouth tops before his daughters orchestrate a coup, but it's going to be a cruisy month for you. Get best to get a backup king going though. Work on your type five, the coin. You got the coin. Okay. Let's scroll down and see. Okay. The spy master is the most popular answer. Oh, tied with the snake or the collector, the general, the alchemist, um, the coin you got. So you got the collector, the, let me, I think you posted this in the Discord, right? Let's go see what that one says. Yeah, it's in the stream chat. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, but I see that some people got some other answers. Oh, you got the snake. Okay. Oh, I see that too. Many of my friends got snakes, apparently. Let's see what the snake says. It says, um, does a person really have to be good at their job? Isn't it enough to wear all black and lurk in the corner of a person's eye, whispering suggestions of how they can ruin their life? And actually, yes, being all scrunched up right on the arms of the king's chair is the most comfortable spot for you. You're swishing down corridors. You're bribing priests. You are stopping at every mirror and window to make sure your hair is appropriately draped over your face. So you have zero peripheral vision. People may judge your rise in power, but making sure the king never gets an ounce of vitamin C is actually very difficult work if you say so yourself <laughs> i like that one we also had someone get the alchemist um that's the rarest one it says the king is traveling down poorly lit spiral staircases under the cover of night to consort with you hunched over cauldrons and bathed in green and purple fumes you're telling him to trade bones and locks of hair for favorable fortunes have you ever got the spells have you already got the spells? Yes, of course. And you're straight up pocketing that golden lock of hair from your regent? Don't worry about it. The frivolous royals and dashing knights may be the chosen ones, but you're the one who's a soup full of frog bits and tells them if they're going to die. So ha, huh, I think the alchemist must be if you choose all the um, poisoning options. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a good quiz. That was a good quiz, you guys. All right, let's get the game going. Let's get the game going. Mm. Hmm. I had it. Let's reload. Okay. All right. And then we can load state. All right. Where we left off before, we had flown right back to um to Snowhead. And uh, we're going to go back into the temple. We got as far as getting the fire arrows, but um, we didn't get much farther than that. 
So now we're back with a vengeance after beating the second day of Honey and Darling. So we need to be a Goron to walk down here just like we did before. <clears throat> and we're going to finish this temple. Bitch, I thought I pressed the punch, but I guess I didn't. And remember, you have to walk down this corridor as a Goron because you got to roll up at the end. Oh, whew, that guy scared me. That little snowball scared me. I thought it was going to get me. And if you're super talented, you can just kind of roll your whole way up here, but I'm not, so we're not going to. Hello, how's it going, Eminem? I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday. Boom. I'm having a beautiful Sunday. It's actually like it's cold again here this week. Um, We had like a moment of spring and then um, February was like, ha 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 ha. Just kidding. Just kidding. Back to winter. So um, it doesn't snow like this around here, of course, but I feel like this. I feel like this and I'm ready for real spring. I'm really ready for real spring. No more winter. I think it's funny that the wolves still yell at you. Like, it's like they don't see the vertical distance, right? So they, they will still yell at you. Okay, we don't have to fuck with those guys. And we want to go through the red door. All right. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we are actually going to roll off the ledge into the basement. Whee! Now the cool thing about Goron is he is immune to the fire. So I can just walk in the fire. And it's fine. He's like, yeah, hot springs, time for a bath, so fun. Okay, so we come down here, we want to press the switch. And then we have a chest. Because the switch and the chest are both in the fire, you have to do this as a Goron. Straight fairy number six. Okay, these bitches, come here. Come here, bitches. I'm gonna kill some of you. Yeah, the ground pound don't do shit because they're flying. Okay. Anyways, whatever. We're done with this. Let's go climb back up. All right. Now we can take this off. And we need our bows. So now we have fire arrows. And since we have fire arrows, we can melt this ice too. There wasn't really a way to line up the torches for that door, so you cannot go through that door until you get fire arrows. But now we can. Alright, this is the pillar room. And um, we want to jump right here. And again, we're going to use our fire arrows. I'm going to kill these guys. Bitch thought he was going to fire me in the face. He is so wrong. <clears throat> okay. And we also want to shoot the torches. Oh, let's actually aim for the torch part of the torch and light it on fire. Oh my god. There we go. And that unlocks it. So I think I need to take off the bunny hood for this. I'm pretty sure. I think the bunny hood's gonna make me overshoot, as it typically does when you're doing these hoppy hop puzzles. Refill the magic. Another stray fairy, number seven. Let's make make sure that's right. Okay, yes, number seven is right. Now we wanna go back to the central room. If you do fall down there, there's a Deku flower, um, so you would use the Deku mask to get back up. No, I'm not no cat. I got no aim. Ninja, I got no aim. It is not a skill that I have. Okay, so we can unfreeze that door, but we are actually going to go through the door that we unlocked instead. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so this just takes us to this switch right here. And we pound it. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. I'm getting really, really close to the 400 followers, you guys. Really, really close. Hey, yeah, that switch was not ready for that Goron dump truck. Okay, let me look at my notes. So, yeah, ground pound the switch. Okay, then we have to backtrack through the central room and go through the red door. Okay, now we're done with that. We can put our bunny hood back on. Right? Ah, oh, no, I went the wrong way. I should have gone back through the other green door. That's my bad. That's my bad. Can I do this with the bunny hood? I'm going to fall off. I can feel it. I'm risky. Nope, I didn't fall. Okay. It was the right distance for bunny hood or non-bunny hood. Okay. Yeah, I was supposed to go back through that green door. So let's go to the red door. That's right, risk it for the biscuit. Leave me alone. Okay, and then we go through this one. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Yes, this is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. So we're gonna come over here. Bitch, don't follow me. Okay, we don't need arrows for this. We need bomb 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 bombs. Okay, this is a little bit annoying. You have to like, ah, the bomb puzzle should have prepared us, but again, I ain't got no aim. There we go, got it. So you blow that up and then you get the stray fairy. You gotta do the run and throw. You gotta do the little, the little run and throw technique. Okay, so that's number eight stray fairy. Um, and then we need to go back to our fire arrows. Oh, nope, like this. There we go. And we're gonna melty melt this guy. We need this one too. I can't remember. Okay, you fucking bitch. I hate the wolfos. Come on, swipe me. I should have switched to Goron first, so I'd only have to do two hits. Now I have to do a bunch. There we go. Thanks for your hearts. I know in secret you loved me. This is the proof. Okay. Oh, not Deku mask. I want the Goron mask. Oh wait, I didn't need Goron for that one. Okay, so we step on the switch, reveal the chest, and then I need to fuck around with this guy so that I can hop up there. Did I put in my notes? Yes, I did put in my notes the direction we want to go. No, don't do that. No, don't climb on it. We're going to push you. There we go. This way. And then we go this way. Slip sliding around. Boom. And then we go this way. And the other wolf tries to fuck with us. Because he hates everything that we stand for. Climb, climb. And guess what's in this chest? Oh my gosh, it's Stray Fairy number nine. All right, so now we gotta do the, the block again. Yeah, we're gonna, let's Goron mask this fucking dog. Bitch. Yeah, you thought, you thought, you thought, but you were wrong. Except I ran into the ice block that I could have totally just taken care of beforehand. Let's do that, actually. All right, ice block. You don't mess with me. That's what you get. You get melted. You get melted. Okay, we gotta fuck around with the block again. So we push the block, um... No. This way. 
Push it the other way. Yeah, push the block this way. Then we push the block this way. And then we push it... Mm, this way? Is that right? That's totally right, yes. And then we can use it to climb up here. And go through the gray door. So many icicles that just want to kill you. Okay, so now, um, remember we positioned this block? Okay, so actually this jump is very annoying to make. So we're gonna do a save state in case I miss. Fuck, I should have done it without the bunny hood. I should have done it without the bunny hood. Okay, take off the bunny hood. There we go. These... Okay. That one killed itself. Good job, Pot. Those little pots are so annoying. They make you think you're going to get stuff, but no. And it's another stray fairy. All right, so now we want to jump back down and go through the yellow door. And then we're going to go through the red door. And then we want to go through the dark blue door. Yeah, this one over here. Okay, and we're back in this room again. So now that we have the fire arrows, we can do something a little bit different in regards to the freeze arts. We can actually kill them like we saw in that other room. So when we first came into this room before, we did not have fire arrows. So we just had to like, these guys just had to exist. You know, we just had to allow them um, to exist in the world, but we don't have to allow that anymore. Now we can shoot them because we have the power. Violence is our right. Now we have this chest. All right, and then it's time, it's time to roll and roll and roll and roll in. Can I go in a straight line? Let's find out. Nope, nope. Still can't roll straight. Just can't do it. It's just, just not a skill that I have. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Up the ladder. <clears throat> okay, let me try one more time. Oh, let's try to line up a little bit better. Fuck! I knew I fucked that up. I started I started messing around. I got nervous. I started got nervous and I tried to correct. I shouldn't have tried to correct. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Straightness is too challenging. Oh no, wait. Get down there. I'm gonna run out of magic. Give me some magic. There we go. Okay, third time's the charm. You can do it, Goron Link. Compet's not that hard. It's okay. It's okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Motherfucker. Compet is that hard. Oh, I did this first try when we were in this room before. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, we're gonna line up right this time. We're gonna line up right. Cause now that we rose now that we raised that thing, I'm not sure going like back around is very easy. So we really do need to like do this at the bridge. Okay, what if I try to line up like right here? Fuck. <sighs> You can do it, Karen. Come on, you're wasting like so much time on this one stupid little bridge. You beat the hardest minigame in Zelda ever, which requires a lot of aim with the bow that you don't have. You can roll across a bridge, okay? You can roll across a bridge. It's possible. Okay. Don't 
don't jiggle the... Motherfucker. Okay, I don't know why this is so hard, you guys. I apologize for watching me fail over and over. <laughs> it's just like this. The N64 one is just like this. Um, the way that the way that it's kind of structured, it's just really problematic. The Switch, um, not Switch, the the remake, which I guess was for DS. Um, a lot of this stuff, the hitbox, like a lot of this stuff is like way more friendly in the DS version. But I don't want to play that version because there's also other things in it that I dislike that they changed. Okay, don't think too hard, just go. There we go. Did it. Did it. Thinking was my problem. I should have just stopped thinking. Link doesn't have any thoughts in his head. I should be like Link. Small key! So you have you have to do this because you really have to have that small key. <laughs> That's the key to life. It's true. It's true. Okay, now where am I supposed to go? Uh, Yeah, go up the stairs. So I think I'm, so I'm supposed to go up here now. So this was another room over here that we did part of, but now that we have the fire arrows, we can do more. No think, that's right. No think, no think, just be. No think, just be. All right, there's another Freezard in this room. Oh wait, no, he's on this side. And we can shoot his ass. Goodbye. Violence is ours to command. Yay! That's right. Oh, I missed it. Okay. So this room... Oh, I don't know if I have enough... I don't know if I have enough magic. So anyway, here's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I think I'm going to probably run out of magic. So I might have to hop back down. So make sure you are not wearing your bunny hood because you won't be able to make this if you wear the bunny hood. But if you lens of truth, you will see that there are these fun little um, danger stairs and you can hop up. Haha, -ha, I did it. I thought I was for sure I didn't have enough magic. And there's another stray fairy in here. So we don't need the lens of truth anymore. <coughs> Wee. I think we go through this door, right? Um, yeah, okay. And now we need to head around through here. You can roll a lot across that bank or you can just be lazy and climb up the ladder. This is another spot that like, oh, now that we have the fire arrows, we can actually get in here. Mm -hmm. Fire arrow. I'm just checking my notes to make sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is the required Goron roll. So you can see a locked door over there. You can also see that there's a snowbank. So we have to roll around over here to unlock that door. Y'all just saw. I got bad, say, bad, bad aim, bad aim. So we save state because I'm probably going to fall. So let's try it. Bitch, yeah. First try. First try. Penance for <laughs> penance for fucking up that uh, that one straight roll over and over again. Apparently, I can do the curvy roll, no problem. So we're gonna kill these guys. Bitches, get dead. All right, they are very annoying. <clears throat> Boop, give me my hearts back. Do I need more magic? Yeah, there we go. I knew you would have magic for me. <clears throat> now this is a hidden hole room. You can tell this is a hidden hole right here. So we're gonna lens of truth and then you can see kind of through there, but it's like slightly broken on my emulator. So you can't really see it too well, but there is a fairy.
not working. Let's get some regular arrows. You don't really need fire arrows. And then... Mm -hmm. Put on our stray fairy mask. Yeah, so you can tell there's a fairy in here. It's in this hole. Let's try to get a better angle. There we go. Got it. I'm running low on arrows. All right, so that's 12th stray fairy. All right, I want the bunny hood again. Are there more pots in here? I need more arrows. A link cannot live on three arrows. I need more. Moss arrows. Why? Why you give me nothing, snowballs? Why? What did I do to you? Oh, magic. Cool. That's not what I wanted. All right, dino, dino foes. Okay. We are actually going to put on our Goron mask for this because he punches hard. And I want to not spend too much time beating these guys up. You know, he's fireproof in the lava, but he's not fireproof to their breath. I don't think that's fair. I feel like he should be. And they both drop fairies. This is 13 and 14, Mr. Fairy. Oh, wait, no, I still need him. I still need you. Okay, so we go through this door. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. Not immune to their breath because their breath is stinky and not because it's fire. <laughs> He's hurt by the smell. He's hurt by the smell. He's like, you know, I can't take that hot breath. Get a mint. Where's the whiz robe? Okay, same strat. Same strat as the other whiz, riz, whiz robe. This one's just a little bit more annoying because there's more platforms that he can do, but use the Goron because he does, like, way fucking more damage. So you can kill him in four punches. Okay, little bitch. Where are you going? Aw, uh, I'm not gonna get it. Yep. I knew it. Where's the real one? Oh, don't walk on the ice, stupid Link. My god. Go, go, go. Damn it. Ah, too slow, too slow. You can do it, you can do it. Oh no. Come on, two more punches. Oh, this is the real one. Come on. This is the real one. There we go. Goodbye, Wizrobe. What is this? Oh my gosh. You got the boss key. All right, so we got the boss key, but now we have to make it to the boss room. So we're gonna backtrack through here. Oh wait. No, I thought we were supposed to walk back through there. Anyways, okay. Never mind, just kidding. We head out through this door. Alright, got some more arrows. That's good. Come on, give me the magic. Oh wait, I didn't need that. Why was I being so risky? Okay, now um, that we've got the boss key. Let's see what you're supposed to do. Run around and across and jump down to the north is the note I made for myself. Run around. So this is the north. So is that where I'm supposed to go down? Run down the stairs, punch out the two ice blocks. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to jump down there. 
I just saved my state just in case this is like super wrong. Okay. Oh yeah, and there are stairs here. So this must have been what I meant. So then run down the stairs and then we punch out these two ice blocks. So, so you see some of these in the central one. Oh, Tattle's about to tell you. We'll let, whatever. Tattle, oh, she didn't talk. There we go. There you go, Tattle, you tell them. Why is this the only pillar of a different color? Yeah, I was about to tell them, Tattle. So anyway, it's a different color because you can punch it. And then it lowers. And we're trying to get it to lower so that we can get into the boss room. So we can do those two. And then we go back up the stairs. And then you can see we can get to the other two ice blocks from over there, but we have to do the annoying roll again. So we're gonna save state, cause I might fall. <sighs> Almost fell. Almost fell, but I didn't. Okay. Boom. Boom. There we go. Now we can get to the right spot. So now we need to get to the north bridge up there. Right? Mm -mm -mm. Can I climb up? Or do I have to roll back up? I definitely have to roll back up. Right? Yeah. Pretty sure that I do. I'm just going to read my notes. I, I wrote, walk onto the north bridge and face, we face west. Oh, this is for getting the last ferry. Okay. Okay, so we just do still have to get the last ferry. All right. Save state. The last ferry is in a little hole in this room. Okay. So we're on the north bridge and then we face west. No, that's east. This is west. Okay, take this off. Okay, the little alcove should be down there. Yeah, we can see it. All right. Geronimo! Awesome. Let's try that again, shall we? Put on the bunny hood this time. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go! Ah, there we go. Got it that time. Bunny hood is required, I guess. Okay, we don't need you anymore, Lens of Truth. Yay! Last stray fairy! Now, we got a Deku flower back up. So, to the left. Oh, okay, this is what I meant. You do this and then you go up the stairs. Reading notes from two weeks ago, Karen, is so fun. What did she mean? So cryptic. All right, that was a lot of magic that those snowballs gave us. I bet we might need our magic in a moment. <gasps> there it is, you guys, but there's one more Roland Roland to do. So we are gonna save state once again, because y'all know we cannot roll straight. Yay, I did it, first try. And here we go. It's boss time, baby. All right, we know what to do when we see ice. I don't really understand why we're doing this. I don't see why he's a threat if he is totally encased in ice. 
Um, but apparently, even encased in ice, this guy is wreaking havoc on um, Snowhead. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't really understand that part. But uh, I think poor Goat is just a victim. And, uh, and Goat himself is really not directly connected to whatever Skull Kid did to fuck around uh, with Snowhead. So that's that about that. Now here's what you do. You roll into his legs. Boom, boom, boom. And um, he, as he gets hurt, he throws a bigger and bigger tantrum. Um, as we know, hurt people hurt people. So he just totally like, he totally throws more shit at you as you're trying to help him. All I want you to do is take off that mask that I know is hurting you. Goat, that's it. Literally a scapegoat. Oh, he's a scapegoat. Yeah, so anyway, you just roll into his legs until he gets so mad that he crashes. So that's what we're going to do. And you'll notice that you're hurting him real bad as he um, throws more shit at you. Now, you can do way more damage if you use these little, like, ledges here to do jumps and hit him in the back. Like, that is a way more efficient strategy. But, as we know, I ain't got no aim. So, I don't do that. I just hit him in the legs until he dies. You know, just taking little bits of health as we go. Also type that as goth. <laughs> he, he could be, he could be goth, you know. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to live his best goth goat life. And uh, we're preventing it. Yeah, so he's throwing spikes now. So I know I've, I'm hurting him. But he'll throw more and more bullshit at us. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. You can try to dodge, but I don't really bother, to be honest, because at this point in the game, I have so many hearts, it really doesn't matter. Oh, he just wants a hug. Goat, come back, I'll give you a hug. If that's all you want, baby. I got so many hugs. These Goron arms... Oh, bitch, I ran right into that. These Goron arms give great hugs, Goat. Really great hugs. I know that you're big, and you might think, like, I'm too big for anyone to properly hug me. I will never feel strong embrace, but I have big, strong arms. I think I can do it. I think I can do it, sir. Yeah, so now he's throwing so many things at us. So, so many things. I think he's almost dead. Come on, goat. Let that mask slip just a little for me. You don't have to do this. You don't have to live your life all masked up. Motherfucker. Stop zapping me! I just want to love you. Come back. Come back, goat. If Karen offers a hug, she's gonna knock you out. <laughs> ninja. Ninja. <laughs> Stop giving away my secrets. <laughs> You're not supposed to type it. It's just supposed to be implied <laughs> part of the story. <laughs> Only intelligent readers understand. <laughs> oh my god. I got too distracted. Okay. Go get him. Go get him, Goron Link. Go get him. Go get him. There we go. Come on. You're all... Oh, motherfucker. Oh, and now he's throwing bombs. He's on the bomb stage. Okay. He gonna die soon. He gonna die soon. He's on the bomb stage. <laughs> Ninja! Stop it! Oh, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge. Okay, come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I think you can also kill him with arrows, like shoot him as he rolls by. Um, like if you want to just stand in one place instead of chasing him like a loser like I am. Um, but it takes a while. So I don't like to do it this way. And I like to smash into him. I think that's way more fun. Oh, bitch, I ran right face fucking first into that. <clears throat> Skull Kid trying to get him into scene when he's really just goth. Oh my god, I just now read that. Ugh! Stop zapping me! 
Come on, just a few more hits and I know he would die. Just a few more hits. Let's try to roll around the edge. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay, come on, come on. Dodgy dodge, dodgy dodge. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah! There we go. Got him. That's what happens when you do hit him in the back. I managed to do it. So you could see that too. Yeah, Ninja, we talked about this. We talked about this. I don't know why you're given a different narrative all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he runs into the wall. And then, okay, we don't have to be a Goron anymore. We can go back to being a cute bunny man. Um, let's go. All right. Okay, let's get our heart. Yay, heart container. We are healed. Yay, we got goat's remains. What exactly are all of you? Gosh, my, I will not stop ordering today. Sorry, guys. Guardians. Guardians? So, you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples, but... Why are the protective gods? No, wait. Are you listening to me? Hey, wait. Wow, his friend froze again in the time that I had unfrozen him. <gasps> what is that? Green trees? <gasps> Green grass! It's spring, you guys. Spring has come. Springtime. Four Gorons. And Snowhead. Doesn't really fit the song. Okay, now there's these new bee enemies. Also, we're back here in the mountain town. Um, but the thing is, is we really weren't quite done <laughs> with that little temple area. So, um, we're gonna go back. <gasps> Bees! see snowhead so we want to go back there so that we can um turn in our fairies and show y'all what we get from that don't let nick cage hear you say that <laughs> oh so now the goron he's here and he's not you know lens of truth anymore can i talk to you i feel like i thought i could Oh, maybe I have to be a Goron to talk to him? Oh. I thought... I could have sworn I could talk to him. But I guess not. Maybe I was standing in the wrong spot. Yeah, and now there's one of those annoying-ass birds here. Also, all the white wolfos are now brown wolfos, um, just like they are in the swamp area where it has wolfos. Bitch, leave me alone. I'm just trying to go see the goddess. She has gifts for me. Okay, so I think you go around here, right? It's somewhere around here, but I don't remember exactly where it is. 
but it's something like this. Here we go. Here she is. young one i am the great fairy of wisdom thank you for reuniting my broken and shattered body to normal as thanks i shall enhance your magic power so we get double magic now yay magic power has been enhanced twice as much magic power Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Alright, so now we've got a couple of other things that we have to do now that it's spring. Um, we gotta go back to the Goron village for the next piece. Now, if you are really fast, if you're really fast and you beat this temple before it's the end of the first day, then there's some other stuff that you can do. So we're not going to be able to do everything that we need to do in the springtime. So when we get to that point, I will show you guys how to make it springtime much, much faster. Um, now that we've beaten the temple once, we can do that. So yeah, Tektite's no longer buried in snow anymore. These wolfos also are going to be brown wolfos, you'll see. Yeah, see, they brown wolfos now instead of white wolfos. Why that changes their coat color, I'm not really sure. Also, you can see that all that, uh, that's a lake, a little lake there instead of ice. So like the stuff that was under the water, that lets you know you can eventually get that. All right, so we need to go around over here. Whee! So we go up here, and we got to talk to the man in here. We could not get in here before. It was totally frozen, and there wasn't really a good way to unfreeze it. So we're going to become a Goron, and let's talk to him. I'm the Goron who sells the powder keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Want a powder keg? Powder kegs explode with powerful blasts that are very dangerous. Until I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? Yes. Okay, you have to do this. If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here using the powder keg I'm about to give you, then I'll approve you to carry them. Okay, so he gives us a powder keg with a long fuse and we have to get it to where he says, um, that's what he's explaining. You have to get it to where he says as quickly um, as possible and before it blows up. Now you can't really carry it while rolling so you have to kind of just keep throwing it oh bitch and this is what i find is the most annoying part of this whole mission okay pick it back up oh bitch pick it up not curl there we go ah come on it. We might have failed already because I'm taking so long on just this part. Oh my god. I keep pressing the button way too late. There we go. So we have to walk it all the way to the Goron racetrack, so I'll show you where that is. Yeah, I don't think I have enough time to make it there with how much is left on the fuse. But we're going to find out. We're going to see how close we can get. We might have to do this again. So, yep, the Goron racetrack isn't even in Goron Village. It's like way back here. So you don't want to fall in the water. And remember, these wolfos have rubber band technology. 
um, in how they follow you, so they will not hit you even though you're going very slow while carrying this. So just keep walking. Just keep walking. Do not get distracted by their bitch ass selves. Yeah, I don't think I made it. It's right up here, but... Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna explode. <clears throat> it's gonna explode in my face. Yep. Didn't quite make it. Okay. Let's go back. Try one more time. But it's up those little ledges that you gotta make it to. So if I don't screw up the first part, then I'll have plenty of time. So let's do that first part better this time. You know, that little ledge that we just climbed up? I'm pretty sure Goron Link cannot climb up that. Yes, I failed. I do it. I'm doing it again. Thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure Goron Link like can't climb up there. So I don't know how Gorons get to him to do the certification. Like it doesn't really make sense to me cuz I'm pretty sure Link cannot do that little ledge climb. Aha, much better this time. All right. Oh my god, don't curl, grab it. There we go. You can see how long the fuse is. So we should have plenty of time to get back to the racetrack. And then once you get powder keg certified, you can get powder kegs um, anytime that you want to. You don't have to do this whole thing just to get one. So you definitely want that certification. Yeah, we should. We should have enough time. There is more ledges, though. There is more ledges in a moment. Oh! <gasps> no! What? How did that happen? Did, is it because the wolf hit me? I have never had the wolf hit me. I have never had the wolf hit me there. Oh my god. Stupid bitch. And then, and he's just going to respawn. And he's just going to respawn. So, it's not like he's gone forever. Stupid. Yeah, can Goron Link even hop his happy up ass up there? Yeah, he can't. It's probably a bitch if it's a female wolf. Well, I don't care. I don't care what his gender is. Is is a bitch. Gender is bitch. That wolf cross me. Okay. Yes. Time for another round of Majora dating sim. Heck yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Goron. We're trying to get the powder keg certification, and I keep screwing it up. So, third time's the charm. Let's mess it up a third time, you guys. I'm disappointing children all over the world with this. Okay. Let's try this shit again. <laughs> exactly, Koneko. You get my vibe. That's right. All right. We're not going to let the wolf slap us this time. You'll just keep getting better at it. Oh my gosh, thank you, Levitate. Uh, you're my new best friend. I usually don't have to do this multiple times, so this is not a part of the game that's like t traditionally difficult for me. So hopefully it was just bad luck. Like I said, I've never had the wolf slap me. We're going to go around him this time. Yeah. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, don't roll back down. Oh, no, don't talk to him. Grab the freaking thing. It's not close enough right now. Oh my god, I do not have time for all your stupid dialogue, child. Okay, now we just wait for it to explode. Way to go, Darmy! That was cool! Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start! Come on, hurry! <laughs> oh my god, Levitate? I mean, I might have shoulda for the bit. I might have shoulda for the bit, but I think y'all would have known I was fake mad. Okay, so this is the Goron racetrack. Um, you might be tempted when this happens to like go do the race, but there is absolutely no point in doing it right now um, because it's not the first day. That will make sense when we actually go do the Goron racetrack, but we're going to wait and do it until the next three day cycle. For now, all we're trying to do is get the certification. And you will notice that even though I just did it, I don't, I didn't like automatically give me the certification. Like the kid didn't give me the certification, right? So we have to go back to the guy that uh, gave us the challenge to get the certification. So we're going to run back to him. This is very easy to forget. I have seen people playing this game for the first time. They get distracted, go do the race, never go get their certification. So you need that. Exactly. In the real world, you need to study for certifications. Well, in Zelda world, the studying for certifications is proving that you're smart enough to not get blowed up. Yeah. Looks like you managed to succeed knowing your skills. I feel fine letting you handle powder kegs on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. Yeah, fuck yeah, it was. I want you to take this as my apology. Okay. Sweet. We got a powder keg. Powder kegs are very volatile, so you can carry only one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they're hit, so be careful. So that's how you can explode it early. Oh my god, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to roll up. Stop, stop. There we go. Curl. All right, so now... Now we've got a little bit of time until the third day. So we're going to do some rupee gathering. We're going to do some rupee gathering. Before that, I really have to pee, so I'll be right back. You get you get like 10 seconds of cat video. Give me like two seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Can you win the Grand Grace and sell, sell the gold dust at the night shop? Um, is that worth the effort since you've been practicing your wins? Um, it might be. The thing is, though, is I know that I'm not going to worry about the racetrack in this cycle. So the chances of us, we probably do it next week. So there'd be a whole week in between. It would make more sense for me to practice on my own off stream in between streams. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Flo, I'm so sorry. You'll get more of the video when we take my real break um, after playing this, okay. Uh, so what do we want to do? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's take off the Goron mask. <clears throat> so if we go to... Oh, no, not Woodfall. We want Southern Swamp, yes. We're gonna have to wait to move to the floof. Yeah, you get you'll see more of the video when I take my real break. Um. So yeah, it won't be it won't be too long. Okay, so then here. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm trying to think of the be the best way to do this. I think let's hop hop. Yeah, let's hop hop. Mm 
I'm going to show you guys a 50 rupee spot. Since we have 132 rupees right now, I'll show the, the 50 rupee spot and then we'll go deposit some rupees. Poor woman. Poor woman. Her's... I wasn't there to save them this cycle, so... You know, the lady is knocked out in the woods. Sorry. I saved you before, but then I ran out of time and had to reset time. Okay, I think I still would follow the monkey... Because there's a hole. There's a Lost Woods hole. Yeah, okay, here we go. The very first one. And I'm pretty sure that even though this hole is in slightly different places, depending on what day it is in the route, yeah, it's a, it's a 50 rupee chest no matter what. Okay, so now we can Song of Soaring over to Clock Town. And deposit. That's 50 rupees you can get every single cycle. Yes, I need to deposit. Check my special stamp. That apparently, no matter what happens, you can still see it on my scalp. Yes, we's depositing. Yeah, I am one rich little guy. Alright, so now, another one that you can get. Chest above. Yep, we got that one this, this cycle. We have that one. We got the one in the sewer this cycle as well. Um, and some others... Trying to remember which all ones we got this cycle. But anyway, what we're going to do next... Yeah. Yep, we, we're good on that one. The one we're going to do next is... Remember that Gossip Stone quest that we did? I think I actually need to look at the map to see where the holes are. So I don't run around forever looking for them. Gossip Stone quest Majora's Mask. Once you have done that quest once and gotten the piece of heart, then you can go and do it again for rupees. Oh, why is Google not just giving me a picture where someone's marked it conveniently? Gosh. Yeah. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Here's a YouTube video of someone doing it. I don't want that. I just wanted a map so I wasn't having to run all around Termina. Oh my gosh. Quiet. Um. Mm -mm -mm. I bet ZeldaDungeon.com has it. Heart pieces. Oh my gosh, it doesn't have a picture, it's just description. Whatever. We're just gonna go find him. We're just gonna go find him. And we did him with the Deku mask last time, so I guess let's do them with the Goron mask this time. Um, so the south one should be it's between the entrance and Milk Road, so it's somewhere over here. It's probably this one. Yep, okay. So, dodge the Sculptula. Do Goron. And then it's the Awakening Song. Okay. Up left, up left, A right, A. Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
Oh, was I not close enough? Okay, whatever. I get up in your fucking face. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because I got to match the song to the color and to the mask and all that. Okay, so we need to do the lullaby. Because if we're going to do it as the Goron, we need to do the lullaby. Duh. Okay. So A right, left, A right, left. Okay. There we go. Now it's going to work. It's the awakening song the first time we did it because we had the Deku mask. Duh. I knew that. What am I saying? So now he turns red. All right, let's run around this way. And it's somewhere on the upper part. It's not on the beach. Stop, stop attacking me. I'm not trying to hurt you. Meanies. Okay, it's somewhere up here. Do I have to blow, is it under the rock? Oh no, I, no, the Goron mask is fine. I'm about to be Goron for this. I think it. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's Ocarina this. Okay. Wait. Okay. Gotta look at the song again. Oh, it starts with the A. A right, left. There we go. I can smell the husband cooking. Well, he's, he's smoking a ham today. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna have a good Sunday dinner. Sorry, me, Mr. Dancer. We can't save you this time. Okay, I think the north one is up here too. Man, maybe I didn't need that map. Maybe I didn't need the map. <laughs> Thought I did, but maybe not. All right, last one. Right to the east. Oh, I know where this one is. I know where this one is. <clears throat> Kill you on the way. Oh no, I got jinxed from my sword. You bitch. You absolute bitch. I don't think I need my sword anymore. I don't think I need it. For this cycle. Oh wait, this isn't right. This isn't right. That's the that's the scrub's hole. There it is. This one. I don't think I need my sword for anything else this cycle, thank God. <clears throat>
<clears throat> there we go. Yay, silver rupee. So you can do that every cycle as well. So you can redo that quest as many times as you would like. All right, let me see. What other rupees have we not got in this cycle? So we can we could go kill Dodongos again. It should be especially easy since we now have the um now we have the Goron mask. But uh it's nighttime, so they ain't going to be there, I don't think. I know the regular Dodongos aren't going to be there. Maybe the ones in the hole are there, though? Let's go see if the ones in the hole are there. Okay, revenge! Revenge on your bitch ass! Yeah, that's what you get. Revenge on you for what your brother did to me. You punish as well. Okay. Let's go see if the Dodongos are in the hole. I don't think they are. But I don't remember. If they're in there at night or not. I'm so glad these guys have aim as bad as me. That's good for me. Okay, no, they are there. Okay, let's let's Goron punch those these bitches. They are also gender bitch. Oh, we hurt by their fire too. We still have to punch them in the back. Purple rupee, purple rupee. I don't know what the chest has. I mean, my rupees are full, but it's probably more rupees. What does the chest have? Oh, it's just a recovery heart. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know what the chest has the second time. It's just a recovery heart. I was like, oh no, are we about to miss out on rupees? Okay. So now we can go back to Clock Town. And we can deposit. And I can't remember if the other Dodongos, like the daytime Dodongos, you, if you can also kill them for 50 more rupees. If like every Dodongo drops 50 rupees or if it's just the ones in that hole. We can find out in the morning. Yes, we're going to give that much. Okay, we're up to 855. We're going to be able to farm rupees much more efficiently later. Right now it's not super efficient, but... If we don't do some of these collecting 100 rupees around here and, you know, stuff like that, it's we're going to have to dedicate way too much time to just rupee collecting. I should have Deku masked for this. Why didn't I do that? Let's fix that. Okay. I think we just need maybe 10, 10 or 15, maybe 20. Uh, not very much for the next thing. Because, as you remember, during this cycle, we are also doing the Honey and Darling shop. So we got to do day three of Honey and Darling challenge. So we need a few more rupees. I think it might be just 10, but let's get some more just to be safe. It might be more on this 
third day. But I feel like the first two days were 10 rupees that we did already. So this one's probably 10 rupees too. Okay. That should be enough. <laughs> All right. Now, there really isn't much else to do. Write a down. There isn't really much else to do, so let's skip to day three. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Is it the double one? Is that the skippy? No, I can't remember. Song of Double Time. Proceed to dawn of the final day. Yes, that is what I want to do. All right. It's time. It's time for the last honey and darling bomb shop thingy. Let me go through. We're going we're gonna to override all my safe states with this. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. This is target practice. It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got the perfect score two days in a row? Do you want to play again? Today is target shooting day, isn't it, darling? Okay, so yes, it is 10 rupees. All right. So we have to aim. We have to aim. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, this one typically isn't as difficult as the uh, bomb chew one that we did on the first day. I still maintain that the bomb chew is the hardest one, but this is basically how this one works. You shoot the targets. You don't really have to move around because, yeah, and if you shoot them, it helps on your time. So it's kind of good to just stand like in a spot and just keep trying, like fire your arrows as much as I'm doing and just keep going until you get them all. Um, just like most of the time, I'm probably not gonna get it on the first try. They rotate, the platform rotates, the platform rises up and down. It's annoying. It's difficult, but I think the bomb chew one still is harder. I think mostly because like, at least with my bad aim with the arrows, like I have practice with them because we you use them all the time in the game, but bomb chews, like when the fuck else do you use bomb chews? You don't really use them, not that often, in any Zelda game, including this one. And yet, there's a bomb chew mini game. Yeah, hurting them does not do anything but pause the timer, so it's only beneficial to shoot their asses. I guess they're so in love that they're immune. Hitbox on these targets is so tiny. It's so tiny. Yeah, I fucked up. Okay. All done. <laughs> yes, it's a customer. <clears throat> the other thing to know with this is that when you do it, you want to back up a little bit from where you start. Um, because if you are too close to them, like, it jacks it up when it rotates back around and you're hitting them. Like, it doesn't really work. So you don't want to stand, like, right up on them.
Two tries on that one. Got it. Perfect. And you guys know what the prize is. You know, because it's the same prize as all these types of ones. Ha <laughs> honey, he got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give him, honey. Piece of heart. We got a piece of heart. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? Okay. I can never remember which one is honey and which one is darling, so I probably totally mixed up their voices, but what the fuck ever. All right, so we got that piece of heart. Heck to the yes. Now, I want to go see, and since it's daytime now, if the Dodongos um, that are not in the hole, if they give you 50 rupees as well. Let's go find out. I am curious. I am curiosities. Why don't why aren't you targeting? I pressed the button, but he's not like targeting, I don't know. Oh yeah, he does give purple rupee. Okay. Is there another one? I thought there was two above ground. Is there another Dodongo over here? Here's another one. Oh he little. He little. I bet he don't he don't give 50 rupees. He little baby. Yeah. That's okay. He still gives some though. Thank you. Thank you for your donation, sir. I appreciate it. You're so nice. Okay. I think that was it. Is there another Dodongo over here? Yeah, oh yeah, there is. There is. Okay. So there is two of two big ones up here. Sir, don't whack me. I'm just trying to kill you for your rupees. I mean, why the heck else would I ever want to kill somebody except for their money? Bitch got my money. Alright, now we can go back to Clock Town and deposit. Now, there really isn't too much else to do between now and the next thing. So... There is another um, silver rupee, 100 rupees, that we can get at 6 p.m. at the end of this uh, this day. So I think we are going to try to go try to get that. So I will change from the slow time. So wait, let me just check the song. So it should be down a right. Mm-hmm. Normal flow. Don't need slow. Because we're really just waiting for 6 p.m. Let's go deposit these guys so we don't lose any rupees. That wasn't all of them, no. No, sorry. I meant to deposit the whole 120. All right, so we're up to 975. We can talk to this guy. I guess we've never gone back and done that. This is the swamp guy, remember? Thanks for stopping by. I just opened for business. I hope you'll do business with me. Do you know what magic beans are? I'll sell you one for 10 rupees. No, we don't need any magic beans, sir. Let's see what he says to Link. Regular Link. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're the one who gave me the land deed. 
Thanks to you, I've been able to do business in the place I've always dreamed of, but there aren't many places to plant beans around here. Do you know what magic beans are? I'll sell you one for 10 rupees. Okay, no, we don't want no magic beans. Yes, this is the swamp guy. We helped him out. We helped him out real good. You're going to be in the epicenter now. I hope that's okay for you. He seemed happy. So I guess it is. Okay, let's be Deku Link. Now while we wait around for 6 p.m., let's farm a few more rupees. Just do, just do some silly little rupee farming. And for a change of scenery, we'll go do some rupee farming out in Termina. Are you fucking kidding me? He won't let me out as a Deku. If I'm a Deku, I can't walk out. I have to transform right in front of him. How is that not terrifying for people? I'm transforming back and forth right in front of their very eyes. And they're just like, it's cool, whatever. The moving bushes. Yeah, the they, uh, they got problems. And it's only some bushes in Termina that move around. So, you know. Yeah, they just want to leaf. They totally want to, like, leaf this world. And the people of Termina, I don't know. Like, I, I imagine there's got to be a whole scientific community and, like, somebody that's written a, a doctoral dissertation on, like, why some bushes move and some other bushes don't and what the difference is between them. Like, that's got to be a thing that someone has, uh, has earned their doctorate on in Termina. Wee. Just out here practicing my ballet. Just practicing my ballet, guys. Don't be so alarmed. You don't need to jiggle hop at me. I'm just practicing. Won't you come to my show? It's gonna be so lit. My dance moves are killer. Can I get all the way over here? Oh no, you have to magic bean to get on top of that. I remember now. I think that's only a 20 rupee chest though. Oh wait, no, there's a flower here. Maybe I can... Can I get on top of there from here? No, I really do have to magic bean. That's the only way. I think this flower is to get up on here. Yeah. Yay, more rupees. Whee! That's right, Koneko. Padum <clears throat> I have all the collectibles. I've got rupees and arrows aplenty. I've got bombs and... What else do I do you collect here? I've got bombs and magic beans. You know. Deku sticks. I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Wee. There are definitely more efficient ways to farm rupees than this, but we're really just trying to waste time until 6 p.m. That is one benefit. Oh, you bitch. That is one benefit of the uh, DS version. When you time travel, you don't. It's not like you choose 
just the start of the day or the end of the day or like whatever you don't do that it's like hour by hour you can you can time travel in forward so a small benefit in the ds version I thought he might drop some rupees, but he didn't. He just blew up in my face. Okay, did we mow all the lawns? Oh, we didn't mow this lawn. I think this might be the last lawn. Yeah, because we came out here and we turned left. So we mowed all the lawns. Let's go back inside. 126 rupees for mowing all the lawns. Whee! Yes, we need to deposit. What? Yes. We got a thousand one hundred and one rupees. What's this? You've already saved up a thousand rupees? Well, here, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. We get a blue rupee. All right, thank you so much for the alert, Koneko. All right, and we're gonna deposit that too. So for the next like real prize that's actually like good, you gotta get 5,000. It's a lot of rupees. We are gonna end up doing that. All right, now we want to go back around to the inn. Whatever, dog. Stupid anti-Deku dog. what Deku ever do to you? Nothing? That's the answer. You're just being like that. I'm sorry, we're gonna be taking refuge in the evening just like the others. You should run too. It seems it's going to fall tomorrow morning. Yeah, probably. So we're waiting around for 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., then we can get another silver rupee. It's this room, I'm pretty sure. Employees only, no admittance. Yeah, I'd say after 6 p.m., you guys won't care. Yeah, this is sneaking into other people's rooms. If you come in here, you will notice they left some underpants. And uh, here's like a funny little thing I can show you guys. If you put on the mask of scents, like it's got it's got the scent. <laughs> it's got the scent. And uh, and I already showed you guys what purple scent gives you, but just to remind you, uh, watch this. Come on, do it. There we go. <gasps> you got a magic mushroom. His shorts are so stinky that they grew mushrooms. So that's cool. Andrew's grandmother's still here. Apparently they're gonna be taking refuge, but they haven't quite yet. We, have we ever read? I don't think we've read this on stream. This that's sitting here. Come on. There we go. Granny's diary. We're going to take refuge at the Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Granny's favorite books. Oh, oh, that's um something Anju wrote, I guess. Yeah, unless she's talking in third person. Oh, Grampy's favorite books. So, yeah, that's her diary. All right, it's almost six. 
Let's get out of here. Go back upstairs so we can get our rupee and then get the fuck out of Dodge. Sorry, you guys are doomed. I'll fix it soon, but not right now. Night of the final day, 12 hours remain. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. and at 6 p.m. you can actually go in here and in this chest. Yay, another silver rupee. Sweet. Let's go deposit it. So I think I have shown you guys most of the good like silver and purple rupee spots that we actually have access to so far at this point in the game. There are other spots, but we don't have access to them yet. Um, I didn't show all of them. There is another one in Clocktown that you can get, but it takes a little bit of planning that I just didn't quite do this time. You have to like you have to use the Goron mask and um, on the first day in the stock pot in and uh, and you can end up getting another silver rupee, I think it is, for 100 rupees. <clears throat> yes, we're gonna make a deposit. There we go. Yes, we're really gonna give you that much. All right, so now we've deposited our rupees and we need our ocarina. Song of time. The amount of times that this poor banker sees Link reset time right in front of them. And then somehow also this banker can kind of time travel as well because somehow they're able to keep track of Link's rupees throughout the cycles. So like they just are a secret time traveler. They're just a secret time traveler. No, don't talk to me about how this is necessary for game mechanics. They are a secret time traveler, it's canon. So that was cycle four. That was cycle four of um, of our playthrough, 100% playthrough of Majora's Mask. We're back at dawn of the first day. C cycle five. The quickest way to the ocean is through the west gate. Okay, so she's telling us now we're supposed to go west to the ocean. Um, I'm going to make sure I save state as well. We're going to save over all the states. There's no reason to go back. Oh, I know what I'm going to do, actually. I know what I'm going to do because I forgot to slow down time last time at the beginning. We're going to slow down time right now. Um, okay. I always forget if it's backwards or double. Inverted song. Slow. Yes. So we're going to slow time. All right. Now, let's go ahead and save state. Over all of my states. Okay. All right, you guys, next time when we play Majora's Mask next week, we're going to be on cycle five and we're going to be tackling uh, the qu other quests that we haven't done yet in Romani Ranch, as well as getting the Gilded Sword. So that's going to be super fun. That's what we're going to do um, starting next time for cycle five. For those of y'all watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.